Is Dave's Killer Bread Healthy? Let's chat about it. Hey there, I'm Christine, dietitian and blogger over at Plant Parajou, and I create vegan food and nutrition content. Super excited to dive into this topic, but first a disclaimer, this is just providing information. It is not personalized to you. If you need help with your diet or health questions, seek out the guidance from your own licensed healthcare providers. All right, let's get into the topic. So as a dietitian, I hear this question a lot, is X, Y, Z healthy? And this question is a little bit nuanced because we do have some general healthy eating principles that almost every healthcare professional can agree on. But at the same time, dietary recommendations really do need to be individualized to the person. If you have certain medical conditions, for example, if you are allergic to a particular ingredient in bread, in any food product like a Dave's Killer Bread, then you will not want to be having that, obviously. So health is individualized. Another thing I want to say about the question, is this healthy or not? We also need to consider what are you replacing this food with? So um, are you replacing this bread with something less healthy? That is something to consider. And then finally, um, how much of it are you eating? So that needs to be taken into an account as well, along with whatever conditions you have and along with um, what you are replacing it with. Those are a few things to keep in mind. Now let's talk about Dave's Killer Bread. There is this line of breads that is pretty famous in the vegan community because the last time I checked, all of the bread products from Dave's Killer Bread are vegan, which is awesome to us vegans. Um, of course, ingredients may change, so make sure that you check your own product. Um, and they offer this whole line of breads and they are known for offering organic products and uh, products that contain whole grains. So is Dave's Killer Bread healthy? Let's take the 21 um, grains and seeds as an example. So. If I flip it around to the back, I notice that the first ingredient is organic whole wheat, which is a wonderful sign to me because the dietary guidelines for Americans 2020 to 2025 recommend for people to make at least half of their grains whole. So that is a good plus for this Dave's Killer bread product. A lot of their other bread products do have um, whole grains as their first ingredient. so kudos to them for doing that. In general, whole grains are healthy foods that provide other nutrients as well as fiber. That is very important for a healthy lifestyle as well. So they have whole grains. They have a serving of this bread has five grams of fiber, which is considered a good source of fiber. So points for that. Something else that I like to check out for bread is the sodium content. Um, again, the dietary guidelines suggest keeping sodium to a certain limit. I'm not going to go into those details, but I will provide a link below if you want to check it out. Basically, we don't want to get too much sodium for a healthy diet. And this product has 170 milligrams of sodium in one slice. Um, now, when I think about sodium, I like to think about the context of the whole diet. I have another helpful resource for you from the American Heart Association's website, heart.org, and it lists out some terms for products that are um, low sodium, lower sodium, etc. So when I personally look at breads, I like to try to pick lower sodium breads. Um, so I try to go for a term called low sodium, which um, per the the AHA resource I'm going to share with you in the description. Low sodium is at or under 140 milligrams of sodium per serving. So this one is 170, so a little bit higher than that, but their power seed bread, which is probably one of my favorites, um, is I believe about 135 milligrams of sodium. Again, remember context counts here. How much of this bread are you eating? Um, what else are you including in your diet? And so forth. So sodium is another thing to consider. And then when I'm looking at bread, I also like to check the added sugars because you would be surprised how many breads have five or more grams of added sugars in them. If you eat a few slices a day, 
they can really add up. And the dietary guidelines for Americans suggest keeping our added sugars on the lower side. One of my favorite Dave's Killer Breads, had the Power Seed one had like one gram or something low like that. So pretty low and that one tastes super good too. So in general, I think that Dave's Killer Bread has some healthy products. I love that a lot of their products utilize whole grains. I love that some of their products are low in sodium. Again, you got to check the labels. And I love that um, some of them are low in added sugars. As a vegan, I appreciate that they have vegan friendly products for their bread line. And if you want to learn more about my favorites, including my input on how they taste, go ahead and check out my blog post that I will link in the description below. If you want to hear more from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll chat with you later.